PowerPoint 2013 and 2016. Delivering accessible presentations. Introduction. In the previous PowerPoint module, we discussed how to make the PowerPoint presentation file itself accessible, including techniques for building structure into the content, using standard layouts, dealing with color and visual effects, pictures and other images, charts, tables, smart art graphics, video and audio. In this module, we discuss the steps you can take to meet the needs of people with disabilities before, during, and after your presentation, including how to produce accessible handouts. Ask your audience about their needs. When you make a live presentation to a group of people, thinking of the needs of your audience begins long before you enter the room. Ask them to let you know whether they need an accommodation for accessibility and, if so, what. People who are deaf or hard of hearing might need a sign language interpreter. People with low vision might need handouts with large print. We will tell you how to create them. People who are blind would appreciate having an electronic version of the slides ahead of time so, during the presentation, they can follow along on their laptops. We will tell you how to create an accessible electronic copy for distribution to everyone, not just people who are blind. People who are blind and sign language interpreters would both appreciate a list of terms they might not recognize in your presentation. If they know what words to expect, they will hear them correctly every time. Make sure everyone can hear. Although these practices will help people who are hard of hearing and the sign language interpreter, if there is one, by following them, you will ensure that everyone else in the audience will also understand you better. Before the presentation, consider the size of the room. In a large room, you might need a sound system. During the presentation, face the audience while you speak. Speak clearly and at a moderate pace. Whenever you take a question from anyone who is not using a microphone, repeat the question clearly before you answer it. Make large print handouts. PowerPoint 2013 and 2016 allow you to create documents called notes pages for your presentations. You may also prepare the standard handouts with three slides to a page and room for taking notes. Because there is nothing special about that process for accessibility, we do not cover it in this module. On the other hand, the Notes Pages feature lets you create large print versions of your presentation for the benefit of people with low vision. To make a large print handout, you must add notes to each slide, set up the Notes Master, and then save the file as a PDF of Notes Pages. Step 1. Customize the notes. Make a second copy of your final presentation. In this copy, complete the notes section on every slide. The notes section is the field below the slide in PowerPoint's normal and outline views. When the notes section is empty, it displays the prompt, click to add notes. Tell your story. In your handout, the notes for each slide should contain the gist of your message for that slide. It doesn't have to be exactly what you say. Your goal is to ensure that people who read those notes will get the same information as people who listen to your presentation. Use lists when you need their structure. The notes section allows you to format text as plain paragraphs or as bulleted or numbered lists. Use a list format when it makes the notes easier to follow. When you create the PDF, these lists will be properly tagged. Step 2. Set up the Notes Master. In the PowerPoint ribbon, go to the View tab. In the Master Views group, choose Notes Master. The Notes Master shows two regions. The top region will contain the image of the slide. The bottom region will contain the notes for that slide. 
Consider whether you need to enlarge the region for the slides. If the smallest text on your slide in this image will be smaller than 14 point text, it would be a good idea to enlarge the region. To do so, 1. Click on the region for the slide. 2. In the Format Shape panel, click on the Size and Properties icon. 3. Be sure the checkbox for Lock Aspect Ratio is checked. 4. Increase the percentage of either the height or the width. The highest you can go without reducing the size of the Notes region seems to be 115%. The region will adjust proportionally to the new setting. Next, adjust the formatting of the text in the Notes region. 1. Select all of the text in the lower region of the Notes Master. 2. Right-click on the selected text and set the font to 14-point Verdana. 3. Right-click again. This time, choose Paragraph. Change line spacing to multiple and enter a value of 1.15. 4. Now adjust the indentation of the second through fifth levels of text. Move the cursor into the second level text. Right-click and choose Paragraph. Under Indentation, adjust Before Text to 0.2 inches. Repeat for the third through fifth levels, adding 0.2 inches to the indentation each time. PowerPoint will retain these settings in this presentation file. Step 3. Publish the notes pages in PDF. Now you are set up to publish your large print handouts. Here's how. 1. If you haven't done so recently, save the file. 2. Under the File menu, choose Save As. 3. For Save As Type, choose PDF. 4. After the dialog refreshes, click Options. 5. In the Options dialog, for Publish As What, choose Notes Pages. Under Include Non-Printing Information, be sure that both Document Properties and Document Structure Tags for Accessibility are checked. 6. Press Return or click Save. The PDF you just produced will serve as a print master for your large print handouts. Make the PDF accessible. For this step, you must use Acrobat Professional. If you don't have access to this tool, contact your agency's accessibility coordinator, who can help you find out whether someone who does can help. Summary. In this module, we discuss the ways you can make sure that your audience benefits as much as possible from the accessibility built into your PowerPoint presentation file. By asking your audience about their needs beforehand, speaking to the audience during the presentation, and preparing a large print version and an accessible electronic version for distribution, you will let all your audience know that you want to deliver to them the best experience possible. This concludes our PowerPoint module on delivering accessible presentations.